Hello, I'm Ketchy Rose from the Conservation Department at the Powerhouse Museum. And I'm Sarah Poynton from the Registration Department at the Powerhouse Museum. And we've got Francis Fitzpatrick here who's a textile conservator in our department. And she's going to show us how she packed a dress in a small polypropylene box. First we've lined it with tissue paper and Francis is just trying to take out the, the creases, possible creases in the garment. We do actually recommend that you watch the uh, the other video about packing a, a garment into a larger box first, if possible. Francis is using two sheets of tissue paper, rolling them up to make a roll, and we're going to put she's put that roll in at the waist, which is the narrowest part of the garment, and then the sleeves naturally fit back. Uh, they need to be padded with that the tissue roll as well. It is good to try and keep the garment in in the, a natural sort of position, so how the the sleeves look like they feel sort of more comfortable, I guess, to to sit, rather than straining them into a a natural spot. Yes. Yeah. And if you need to find out where to buy SSP tissue paper and polypropylene boxes. You can look at our supplies, which is on this website. Just enclosing that now and putting the lid on. Again, if um, if possible, it's good to to put an image of the object that's inside the box. Put an image on the outside of the box and the name or a reference number so you don't actually have to open boxes to find garments. It's also good to try and keep the box horizontal so that the object doesn't move within the box when transporting. 